Is that my fucking shirt? This? Yeah. No. Yeah, that is my shirt. What do you mean? Is it? I got it from a fucking, uh, is it? Yeah, that's my shirt. I got it from, I don't know, like a... There's no way that's not, what size is that shirt? I don't know. I got it from a thrift XL. That's my shirt. What do you mean it's your shirt? That, I I had that shirt. There's no the, the Einstein. It's like glow in the dark too. Yeah, it's glow in the dark. I'm pretty sure it's my shirt. I got it from a fucking thrift store. Which one? Okay. No, did you get it from Matt Legrand? No. You know where Virgil Normal is? Yeah. They were doing a little pop up thing there, and a guy was selling them. Guarantee that came from my house. Are you There's fucking no serious? Yeah. Fucking bastard. Are you serious? Because the guy works out of San Diego, so he brought yeah. these, sh these yeah, shirts San up. San Diego Greg, yeah. He, he brought them up in a shipping container that was backed up to the end of my house when I was having my sale, when I was going through all my stuff before I moved. This is fucking yours? Yeah, it's mine. You want it back? Yeah. The swap. Let's do a shirt swap. Uh, Gabby, I'm, I'm said, right. Gabby said I'm dressed like a male nurse. He looks like he's a fucking nurse. What? Which is, <laughs> literally, I do look like a fucking Yeah, you look like you're in scrubs. I look like I'm wearing a tunic. Yeah. I didn't choose. I, clocking, I didn't, into, clocking into Kaiser. Oh, uh, fuck me. I was wearing a tunic. <laughs> I didn't really have it together today. Yesterday. Um, Gabby's here. Omar's shaking. Omar's, yeah, she's... She's having... <laughs> she's really not doing well. She's, uh, she all right? No, she's not all right. Um, she's having a moment. She might need to go to urgent care. Are you serious? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. She's been coughing all night. Oh, God, dude. Can you, Jason, can you get up? Can you put up on the big screen uh, <laughs> whooping cough for dogs? She's been coughing all night. Oh, woke me up. God. Yeah, and I beat her in the middle of the night a few times. You beat her? Yeah, because she coughed too much. Yeah. I just, against the wall? Yeah, yeah. This, um, is the sad, this is the horrific thing about having animals, dude, is that they get this, old. This is the contract that we... I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what this is. I don't know either. It's like, is there something caught in there or is she just coughing? I think she's probably just old and coughing. No. Why are dogs always doing this though? Dogs are always trying to cough some shit up. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. This is terrible. We shouldn't, this isn't even good content. Are we no. on Discord right now? We're on Discord, yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. This is animal Omar, abuse. The mic? They're yeah, saying Michael. this may be the one where she dies. Does she, is this it? That would be this a horrific episode. Do I have to go to urgent care right now? Should we just break and go to urgent care? Can you can we can we go remote? What's up with the Def Leppard socks? Don't. No, I, I did. Don't. I got them from a podcast. Name one band. Name I, one song. I can't. I don't like Def Leppard. Why do you have Def Leppard? Because they, they were. They, she gave them me after a podcast. She was rep. You know the, you know the biggest company. danger in the world is free clothes. Do you know that? Putting on free socks of a band that you don't even like. What's wrong with that? Def Leppard. Yeah. What's wrong with that? You haven't. You've never listened to Pour no, Some I've never, Sugar on Me. Oh, that's Def Leppard. Pour some <laughs> sugar, sugar on, on me. Who does the do it? They had the one armed drummer, I think. What's the cherry? Who does the cherry song? The cherry. What's come on? Yeah. Cherry pie. Cheese God. my cherry. Who does that? Warren. Music is Warren. so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. Cheese my cherry pie. Pour some sugar on me. Come on. Suck my dick. It's embarrassing, dude. Imagine, me, imagine being in a band. Come give me a hug. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do this again. Stop trying to kiss me, dude. <laughs> She's hugging me. I was like, is it, is it warm? No, you know, I'm not very good at intimacy. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm That's not, why I love I know, And you're you. really you forcing. Hate I hate, I hate Wait, it. Wait, I'm going to put my cheek on your back. No, oh, I hate it. Oh, this is so nice. I need this. No. I need, I need the oxytocin. Okay, do you really? My body, okay. look, my nervous Your system. Your frail is, bird body, it's like it's. Yeah. My nerve. It goes into a rest. Oh my god! No, it, no, it does. I really does. My friends always make fun of me. They're like, "You fucking hug like Pinocchio. Like you're the worst person to hug." Yeah, it's like hugging a bunch of twigs. No, I know. It's it's not. I'm not good at hugging. I'll tell you that. I was listening to the. I was on your show the other day, and I was listening. Yeah, to, you were. Thank you. I was listening to when I was objectifying your your um your co-host breasts. Yeah, and I and I I left out uh, sweater goblins as one of the goblins more, sweater goblins. That's a good There's, one. I should have said that. You know, you think I should have said. Yeah. What? Now I get to replay it. You can. I said all these things like whammers. Wham like, yeah, I big said, slammers. I big. I should have said if I stop and relax. Yeah. And think if I would have had some like some composure, I would have said sweater goblins. That's a good one. Right. I just thought of it in the car. So. What's nice though is that you've had a few days to kind of think about the things you would have said, and usually this isn't what happens. You know, like when you get into a, anything else to think of, I, you get into a fight with somebody, then you replay it in your head, and you're yeah. like, "I would have said all these things." Oh yeah. So now you can you can relive that. Now I can do it on my podcast and play it back. Maybe yeah. he'll maybe I'll get maybe I'll get Jason to replay that clip, and of I'll us. and I'll and I'll ADR on top of it. Sweater goblins. Yeah. 
as like, you know, I, uh, you know, we were on a show last night together and I brought her up on stage objectifying her I said you, you were talking about her figure i said give, give it up for the next comedian she's got the fattest tits in comedy bit you guys are going to be distracted big, by these big fat tits did you see orbs <laughs> yeah i did i said I mean, not only that tight pussy and i brought her up like that tight pussy and huge tits tight pussy deadly huge combination deadly combination but no ass i don't know what are you gonna know. do i don't know well, well, you can't have it all right can't have it all yeah can't well, have it all yeah um yeah i've always thought too like you know i feel like breasts I was, Please. I was women. I felt like women are attracted to other women with big breasts. I never understood because I feel like breasts are for men, you know, because we need to be nurtured. And... I, I Am watch porn. No, and I, you're not wrong. <laughs> but here's the thing: the only thing I can ever fucking talk about is sex because it's the only thing I know. Anything we've talked about this so many times too. What, Jesus sex? Christ! Yeah, because I've talked about this literally on your podcast what? before. That the only thing that I know how to talk about is sex. You've never said that. Me, yeah, I have. I've said that. Um, maybe you should. Maybe you should be. Um, Maybe you should do sex. Maybe I should. Maybe yeah. And here's the thing. Um, I exclusively watch big tit porn. Oh, you do? Yeah, exclusively. I can't big. watch porn that has that women that have women that have my body type. Oh, big tit les lesbian porn or big tit like straight porn? Both. Both. Yeah, I mean, I you think gotta that, have fat knockers. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's definitely. I mean, if you're watching, listen, if you're. If you're watching porn, you get to do whatever you you get to serve up. You serve yourself. You're up in the world, you right? It's like you, whatever you wherever you want. Whatever. It's your choice. You do you like you know. for men? Do you guys watch like big guys with big dick porn? Like huge dick porn. Most most porn is everyone's pretty well endowed, so it's not like you have much of a choice. I mean, I guess you could seek. I guess they probably have everything. But for sure, they you probably know, have little dick porn. Are you kidding? Of course they do. Yeah, of course. You they know do. they have yeah. micro penis porn. I've never looked it up. I just, I just, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really. Yeah, I don't really. I'm not like googling like biggest hammer, you know. <laughs> but like, but sometimes it's interesting, you know. Some guys literally got like a dick that's inhuman. Yeah, you're like what? What? It's literally like, it's like unfolds. Yeah, you know? it's just like, and, and it's like, where's that gonna go? I have a friend that was fucking Kobe, and she said he had a monster dick. Oh really? Monster Rest hog. In peace Rest in peace. Yeah. Said what did she monster do with hog. It? Where'd she? Where'd she? Where'd she put it? Microphone. Where did she put it? Yeah. In her vagina, I guess. Nowhere else. I, she probably sucked him off. Grammed it, grammed it in her mouth, maybe. Maybe. Well. Maybe. Said it was a monster hog, though. Scary. Scary Too hog. Big. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, here we are. I don't, you know, I'm, 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 um, Omar is literally, like, sh shaking. She's shaking, seeing. Coughing there's... All night. She's got, like, whooping cough. Yeah. I called the vet. So you can't even see a vet these days. It's a it's, nightmare. It's hard to get, like, an appointment. Anywhere. I don't well, know why. Also, here's the thing about Omar. She's so old. It's that, like, it's a, you know, when grandparents get so old that you're like, what are we going to do? Like, you're just, this is it, you know? What are we yeah. going to hook you up to an well, IV the, and hope well, you live longer? Yeah, I do think about, like, I, she's already on medication for her skin. She already has eye drops I have to put on her you eyes see? every day of her life. And I'm like, so wait a minute. She has a cough, so now I have to get another medication. At one point, it's like, I'm carrying on a dog her. in like a pharmacopoeia of dog medicine. Yeah, literally. What kind of life is it? To keep this dog alive that's like not much of even a companion anymore. Yeah. She's I kinda, love her. She's just kind of shaking. I love her. And she, I love, she's great. I love her and she like follows me around, but like. That's your girl. Yeah. But it's also like, you know, the, 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 the golden years are over. Yeah. You know, the golden years. She's had in, her time. Yeah. We're in the. Um, when I met her, she was in her golden years. Right. Yeah. Now she's in her, her moldy. Yeah. Her moldy <laughs> she's. Years. What's yeah. going on? So you've been on tour. You're on, you're on tour with, uh, with Felipe uh, Sparza. Yeah, how's that? It's good. Yeah, you and just a bunch of dudes. And, Me and, and a bunch of fucking dudes, dude. What does your does your dude get jealous? No, you know, you know, Big John. He's too he cool stays to get jealous. jealous. Yeah. He's just like what? Yeah, he goes sick. Yeah, he goes sick. Those dudes are sick. Yeah, he goes. Those guys are the. Those are the guys. Yeah. So yeah, they're the guys. He like you're like. Aren't you jealous? He's literally like riding on a motorcycle doing a handstand. That's you're it. Like, yeah. I don't, think has, I don't think he has time. You're like I'm with four dudes. He's like he's like I'm. I'm riding down the street on top of a motorcycle. I'm standing on a motorcycle. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Yeah. I don't have time to be jealous. No, there's. I don't think if you can if you can stand on a motorcycle and ride it, then you don't have time for jealousy. You don't. You know? That's that. What about you? Do you get jealous? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't gotten jealous of him, but I do get jealous. I haven't had like any anything come up with him, though. I think a certain amount of jealousy is healthy. I do, too. Right? Because there's kind of that little thing where, you know... You're dating somebody, and if they don't get jealous, you're like, "Well, do you not care? You yeah. don't care from out with a bunch of guys? Yeah. I don't care." Yeah. 
Yeah, I dated someone who wasn't jealous. Also, kind of like on the other side was like that chick. You that chick thinks you're hot. She's hot. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Which, and I would get into that frame of mind of being like, yeah, I'm sure, like these chicks think I'm hot, and she's like, yeah, that's hot. But then you have to think about the flip side. Yeah. You got to think about what, well, what's the other side of that coin. Right. So you got to think about that. Right. You know? So is a little bit of jealousy is a healthy thing, possibly. It might be. It might be the better, maybe for me, not for every, you know, everyone has their own, um, everyone's got their own peccadillos, right? Yeah. And I do, I do keep feeling like I'm, you're about to check me into some kind of appointment. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to insert your <laughs> catheter in a minute. This is a really stupid outfit. It's not stupid. No, it sucks. It's not. No, come on. I didn't don't, think. Come listen, on. No, I just like. I literally did not. I I grabbed. A sh I reached in the closet, grabbed a shirt, and there was a pair of pants on the kitchen table. And I was like, I'll put those on, and I put these shoes on because they were there. I was. And not, the shoes are very, also very. I look nursey. like a fucking. I look like a nurse in the future <laughs> in some dystopian, stupid, fucking colorful world, right? Who like yeah. who mismatched his his scrubs? Yeah. Yeah, I look really stupid. Cool nurse, though. That's cool. I don't, I don't look cool at all. Oh, I no. I don't feel cool. I don't look cool. <laughs> Uh, Why I don't, don't you smell feel cool? cool? I just don't feel cool. Yeah. Like, you know, some days you feel really cool. Yeah. Today I don't feel cool. I understand I, that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get it. I do. You got the you got the spots you got the spots on your face. Yeah, I got things. some big pimples. I gotta you hide got to them. Cover up to the stars. So you have big. They're big. I kind of want to get a zit so I can use one of those. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're nice. I wish they had them when I was in high school. I know. Would have been a lot cooler. It's a pretty cool thing. Like whoever did that probably made a mint. Yeah. Don't you think, Jason? Absolutely. The stickers. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, yeah I just cigarette. had one on me yesterday. Well, you had a it was an apple. It looked like an apple with a smiley face. That's, yeah, that's I really mean, they cool. make acne cool now. Yeah, they Ad do. Adult acne. Everything's you cool. Me? Yeah, adult acne's cool. You got yeah. a sticker yeah. for it. Cool. Fucking yeah. everything. Is, everything cool. But it's these kids are getting too soft. It's you shouldn't have a sticker for acne. You should be getting made fun of. You shouldn't get a participation points for having Whoa. poor skin. Um, listen, hygiene. I'm going to say something. Like, listen, if you see someone that has severe acne, I feel like. It's one of those things, and I've had acne at, at times. And I, I, I remember I had acne as, at some point as a young adult. I had acne. I had to take like uh, that really toxic shit. Accutane. Yeah, I took acne. I took Did you too. really? Yeah, yeah. So you and, had fucked up acne. Yeah, I was. I guess so. Yeah, I don't. Whoa. I think I blocked it out. But yeah, I definitely had. I definitely had. I mean, or I was really vain. But no, no, I, I had acne, and and um, I took Accutane to get rid of it. I did get rid of it, but I didn't have like cystic crazy. Like it wasn't like it didn't like. It was more, I was more worried about than anyone else, I think. Yeah. But when you see people that have like insane cystic acne, where it's just like. Like looks painful. Yeah, where they're, where they're, where if you like, if you scratch their face, it would like. <laughs> I, I see that some once in a while and yeah. I just go like my, my heart breaks because yeah. it's t like you have to, you want nothing more than just have normal, even just oily skin. Yeah. I like how we're, this is like, we're going to this is so stupid. We're gonna we're gonna end up shilling for some fucking. What am I talking? But I just I I just see I don't know, that you put a nurse outfit on and all know, of a sudden I'm talking you're a dermatologist. But don't you don't you feel it's like don't you feel for? I feel like for all the things that we fixed, yeah. Can, you, can someone just fix that for people? Because like it's you think it's your face. You think you think with that you think we could fix acne and herpes, but those are the two things I guess science has not figured out how to conquer. Right. I mean, acne probably first because it's not. I mean, herpes is on your face too, but ac but cystic acne, yeah. your whole face is covered in a mask of red. Oh, it sucks. And like dude. you can't, you you probably are hindered in how you interact with the entire world. Of course, the, like you're not getting the same jobs. You're definitely not getting those the people. You're not gonna date. No, like, let's look up the school shooter acne ratio because oh, I yeah. bet you, I bet you, some school shooters have some nasty acne. Ooh, I didn't think about that. See, or maybe they took the Accutane because it can't make you crazy. Well, yeah, it can, and infertile. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm not. I'm not infertile. Good for you. I think. Yeah, we're looking at no crossover with acne. Uh, <laughs> great. Great. Unfortunately. Uh, great theory. That it just no, didn't no, out. no. That's got to be wrong. That's got to be wrong. So you're on tour with Felipe. Yeah, on tour. And how's that? How's it, it like being on tour all the time? It's yeah. good. It's good. I wish I was funnier. I'll tell you that. Um, you get any good road hole? No, I don't get any good road <laughs> hole. But the guys do. Do they? The guys do. The road hole is so insane. Yeah, I don't know where I heard hole. that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's horrible. It's a crazy thing to say. Even if I like, if I was single, there's no fucking way I would be out trying to fuck those audience members. I'll tell well, you that. You're also like a woman. You're not, it's not women are usually not, not built that way. No, we're not. And like women can have. I remember having an argument with an ex of mine where I was like talking about. Um, we got in this really dumb argument about like. How hard is it? Is it harder for a man or a woman to have sex? And her her point was saying that it's harder for women because a guy can be not good looking and be charming. And I'm like, no, you don't understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you can fuck George Clooney faster than I can fuck his wife. You think? Yes. 
because we're men, men are like no, the that's odds are in your true. favor. Yeah, it's a million percent true. Yeah. Men, men are more men are men are men have a, a much wider range of who they'll fuck. Right? Yeah. We'll, like men will fucking almost anybody at some point. Gabby, do you ever find yourself uh, getting charged for things that you don't even know you're getting charged for? Or you signed time. up for something stupid. I always talk about the time when I signed up for Zeus TV to watch one of these like reality TV shows where people fight all the time and like fight over whose bed they're going to take in the reality TV yeah. house. And um, and I had to see it because I saw it on like Instagram and I, I followed it to the cable. Mm-hmm. And, and then all of a sudden you're getting charged. It's like when you have a gym membership, you don't go to the gym yeah. or, or some stupid yeah. like Hulu. What was that music app? Title, Beyonce, yeah, title. You had title. You were a big title person. And I got title because I wanted to listen to Beyonce's album. And it right. was only on title, and then I had the subscription to it. And I was like, why did I have this? For? And you had it for so long, and you forget about it. And there's a thing called Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. It's a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower the bills all in one place. Over eighty percent of people have subscriptions they forgot about, like that streaming service you bought to just watch one show on, or that free trial that you never ever used. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you, so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want. It goes. Through everything it shows you everything and you just go kill 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 and then you're rich uh simply find the nice. sub find the sub you don't want to press cancel and rocket money will cancel it for you no more long hard hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth rocket money makes canceling subs as easy as a click of a button over three million people have used rocket money saving the average person up to 720 dollars a year this. download rocket money right now um yeah, and the thing about Rocket Money is that I have used it. It's very easy. It's very point and clicky. It's very fucking user friendly. It goes through and it saves. I've saved. I would guess on average with Rocket Money, I've probably saved about five hundred bucks this year, which to me is a lot of money. I don't know how it is to you, but sorry, I'm taking pics of the set. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted <laughs> subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to RocketMoney.com/pta. That's RocketMoney.com/pta. RocketMoney.com/pta. Nice. All right. Here's what blows my mind, though. Is that even like the grossest fucking guys think that they deserve a chance with the hottest girl in the world? And that's the thing. Like even as, as as a, I, I, I'm not heinous. I'll say that like I still have pretty low self esteem though. Like I even think my boyfriend now is too hot for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I still don't think that I'm worthy of attractive men. Whereas like men that are so below average are like I fucking deserve yeah. the hottest girl. And I'm like, what? How does this? Yeah, but you're talking about men who are like, what kind of, what kind of, what, who thinks that? What a guy, lot of them? Like who? A lot. Like, I've, got, I've of... seen some of my friends who are fucking tens, and the guys they date, and I'm like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? They date ugly men. Your they friends who are guys. tens date ugly men. Uh, yes. Name one. One of my friends. Yeah. Adri. Her name's Adri Diaz. Ten. Well, well, that's why men believe that. Ten. It yeah, happens. it is. It's true. Adri, <clears throat> let me see her. Let me see a picture of Adri. Yeah, Diaz. Adri's fucking hot, dude. Is she single? Yeah, she's single. Um, she's single, and uh, she's a baddie. And a baddie. if I showed you the guys that she dated, you'd go, you know, what the fuck is that? But I also have a different gauge. Like if 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 someone asks me if if I think a guy is attractive, I'll say like, yeah, that guy's that guy's attractive, and like women are like, that guy's terrible looking. Um, ten out of ten, baddie. I mean, 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Come on, let's not get crazy. Yeah, come on. She's, she's... 10 out of 10, buddy. Hold on, I'm, getting, I'm getting a good look. I mean, 10 out of 10 is, is crazy. Like, 10 out of 10, you're talking like... 10 out of 10 if you're looking at the guy she dates. I mean, you're... come on. I mean, she's cute. I don't know. I don't know. 10 out of 10 not is very insane. nice. I'm not, and I'm not, am I being one of those guys? <laughs> oh my God. You, you, tri- <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> you fully tricked me. I, I proved you right. <laughs> you're being one of those guys, dude. Yeah. Except I'm not ugly. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, that's the thing. And then you're I'm not, not one of those guys. You're not one of those guys. So, but I did you... do. I did do exactly what you said I would do, and yeah. I was like, yeah. But <laughs> I guess every you know, it's all it's all subjective. You know, it is. It is. She is definitely somebody's ten, but not mine. Yeah. Who's your ten? Uh, what's her name? Um, Celebrity- Dame, Dame Judy Dench. Dame. Judy Dench. Judy, well, I don't know. Judy my Dench, the eighty-one-year-old Shakespearean no, who's, actress. Who's my? Who's a ten for me? Judy Dench. Who's the hottest? Someone asked me the other day, like, who I think is hot, and like, they're like, who's your celebrity crush? I was like, I don't have celebrity crushes. I have, inst- I have girls on Instagram. I think are hot. Yeah, you like, do. Yeah. yeah, of course you do. Yeah, that's yeah. a new celebrity crush. Yeah, but it's better because you can actually meet them. Yeah, you know? that's it's true. Like, it's not like I'm like this girl's hot, and then you can like throw it out there. Yeah, yeah. and you can DM her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But celebrity wise, who's hot? Um, I mean, there's two. It's it's also I don't know. It's so 
I can't even say. Like, Scarlett who, Johansson. What do you think? Yeah, about of Scarlett? course she's hot. Yeah, of course okay. she's hot. She's hot. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Jennifer Lawrence. She's hot. Yeah, you're Rihanna. a J Law J Law guy. They're hot. Rihanna's hot. Rihanna's this hot. Yeah, so, but this is so basic, right? Ice, okay. Ice Spice. We've discussed before. Ice Spice is hot. Yeah, objectively. I don't know who that is. Dua Lipa. Like, they're all, everyone's hot. Every every female yeah, celebrity hot. is hot, basically. They're Isn't it hot. interesting that there's like also not any ugly like pop stars? Like women, like pop star women are not ever ugly. What about, and there's got to be ugly people who can sing. I mean, Adele's not the best. Is she? She's not the best looking woman, is she? She is. Look, looks pretty I mean, cute now. I wouldn't call her ugly. I wouldn't call her. Yeah, ugly she's either. not ugly. And was 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 rehab lady? Was she hot? The rehab. Uh, Amy Winehouse. Yeah, was she hot? Amy yeah. Winehouse. She had her own thing. For she a had minute. her own thing. Before she had it her, all fell apart. Yeah. She, there were moments where I was like, she's kind of. She she's like, she's definitely like had her own thing. Chola. Like, how's she? What was she doing? Yeah. She kind of did that for a minute. Chav. Like, Chav. Is that the term? Yeah, I believe like that's. He likes the Chav. Yeah. Well, I'm a fact check, so. He's a derailing. He likes to derail it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were working. We were about to. Look do how do a cozy whole, he is. His legs all up on the you table. You and I were about to do a whole English cholo bit, and I was going to talk about like Christian Bale and Harsh Times, and you were going to do an English accent. I was going to. We had a whole thing. And then he he goes Chav. Chav. Chav, it's amazing. Yeah, I'm an information guy. You know, and this is we know there's a huge screen here you can be putting information up on, but instead he likes to interject. <laughs> well, what about yeah. also write Chav in all caps on the Google? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you Google Chav, yeah, yeah. and then we go look at the Chavs. Oh, okay. He's, cause Wait, so Jason, what's the definition of a Chav? The Chav is like a. This is a Chav. It's like an English, like it's like an English guy. It's like an English. It's like a like a Jersey. How do I? Explain? Yeah, yeah. It's like a Jersey Shore Got Eng, English it. equivalent of a Jersey Shore. I would woman. say Amy Winehouse like, is a Chav. Yeah, she had chav tendencies. You think she had chav? Okay, maybe. Kind of like cockney fucking yeah. thug-ish, whatever. Yeah, you're right. Um, if I was from England, I would definitely be a chav. I think, yeah, you would definitely be a chav. Uh, I, think that, I think that Jason is like, I think what he's doing is he's doing this thing where he interjects himself in the show because he wants to start his own podcast and it's going to be about gaming and he's just trying to get more airtime. I get that. So eventually he can split off. I get that. And do his thing. So he's trying to- They start to, to get power. He's branding the producers himself. start to get he's a lot branding. of power, Look, yeah. he's turning red, dude, because he knows that I'm onto him. Look at him. I just got sunburned yesterday. No, he's literally <laughs> turning red in front of our eyes. Where were you? I was at the Renaissance Fair. Predictably. How was it? Great. I mean, of course, highly were. recommend I've been to wanting anybody. To go. Everybody wants I've to go these once. days. Everyone's going See? this year. Everyone's all the, going. All the baddies are there. The ba I mean, you could go and find- Yeah. Hey. Okay. Sorry to judge. You know that they but, probably they're on big tit baddies too. I feel like rank yeah. girls. Yeah, I would say the girls. ratio of attractive women to like unattractive men way more attractive women. Of there's a lot of because the, the men are literally autistic and the women are like hot baddies and <laughs> yeah. the men are just like autistic. And, there, guys. and I, I feel feel like heard this... some incredible conversations about medieval pike, uh, yeah. pikes and weapons there. Yeah, yeah, of okay. course. So I and I feel okay. like this year too, like there's a lot more of uh people are going there for content more than before 100 everything been, is for content yeah though. but like there's a lot of cute ig girls i see i'm like oh you guys are you guys are renaissance fair people yeah and uh but I, i've been i went to the renaissance fair a few a few years ago before covid i believe and um actually i don't even know i can't even tell when i went but but i do remember hearing about the fact that when the ren fair is over and it shuts down all the workers they have orgies it's like a really debaucherous wow, scene. really yeah. And if you think about the workers, really, the winter, yeah, yeah, they fully orgy. It's like it's like full debauchery, like that whole vibe of that like. That so here, makes went? sense. Yeah, yeah, they they go off. Yeah, come here, you went. They pull the girls by their hair. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, in Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, where it's yeah. like the girls are running in circles yeah. and the guys are chasing them. Right, but now I'm sure they've changed it to where actually. Quick fact check: they have changed it so that it's the so the women are women chasing, chasing the, pirates, the guys. Right? Like, are you serious? Yeah, they did. And the women are like, it's I a don't... woman auctioning off the guys. Yeah, they switch it around. Yeah. They're rewriting history. You know, they that's are really not history. how it was. Nah, you're right. It's the same way it's as like it the same way as in Florida that they're like basically erasing George Floyd in the school textbook. Are they? Yeah, it's like All right, so he had his moment in the sun? No, it's not that. It's not that he had he Okay, hey, <laughs> I wouldn't call that a moment and... in the sun. Gabby, can we just stop and pause there? Those sparkle teeth, huh? Um I'm pausing. So, no, it's because they're trying to erase uh what they quote unquote call wokeness mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like they're just stating the fact that this man was killed there are riots but they're just taking it all out yeah because they want to rewrite history yeah same way as disney wants to rewrite the history of pirates pirates were rapists yeah and, were chased, and, and that was a very milk toast version of what they did chasing a girl around where she goes ah it's like pretty chill yeah they were like they were chasing them, raping them and killing them yeah now absolutely. they made it into a woman who's like i'm gonna girl boss you into this ship and yeah it's like, come on that's not come that, on it wasn't disney. happening there were no there weren't. Uh, there was probably like two girl bosses in the world at that time. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe. maybe. There was like some outliers where like be like one female yeah. pirate, and you know, she's like, I'm. The girl beard. boss was probably the, the the fucking queen of England. That was one of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So being a girl boss, it's like, what is it? What's it like when you just get up and you're like, I'm the boss of this. Girl. I wouldn't know. You, you're a girl boss. I wouldn't know. You'd be girl bossing. 
No. Back then, now I'm too. I'm too codependent. I'm too much of a people pleaser. You're codependent. You're a people pleaser. Yeah, I would not have. I would have crumbled. <laughs> it's so funny that I called you a, a people pleaser in B I T C H. Yeah, you can say it now. What? You're you no, too afraid to say it on your own podcast? Yeah, no, I would never say you that. You looked me anyone. dead in the eyes on my own podcast and said you're such a people pleasing bitch. <laughs> but you know what's funny is that I didn't think. I just it just came it out of my funny. mouth and I didn't see you as a people pleaser because you kind of come off as like someone who's like don't touch me. Yeah. And I it, definitely do have that. But that's a different thing. Don't touch me and also please me. You're yeah. like, don't touch me. Yeah. Don't touch me, let me touch you. I'm not gonna touch you, but don't touch me, don't touch me. Yeah, it, hurts, yeah, yeah. it hurts when you touch me, but I gotta please you. Yeah. Well, I don't know where it came from, but I guess I was right. You are right. <laughs> you were right. I am very much a submissive people pleaser at the end of the day. At it's the all an act. I remember one time I met Russell Brand. And I was like working at a juice bar a thousand years ago. And Punch he, bowl? No, oh, it was a. You've worked at two juice bars. I worked at, t yeah, I did. This was before. Did you even drink any of that juice? Yeah, it was good. Okay, good. It I want to make sure you drink. You don't. Th you don't. You don't strike me as a as a woman who drinks a lot of juice. I am. Reason. You do. You do drink a lot. of juice. I know. I seem like a fucking KFC girl, but yeah. no, I'm not. You I, take care of your. You eat I, well? I try to. I try to. Of that house of of ill repute that you live in with those two yeah. broads, who who is eating the worst shit? Harper. 100%. Harper, yeah, I can see that. Harper's eating the worst shit. Mac and cheese. Yeah, absolutely. Where's she from? Like, I, uh, North Carolina. North, yeah. So she's, she's eating, she's ordering she's, literally a... She's literally eating stuffing for, like stuffing with milk for breakfast. She gets Chick-fil-A delivered a lot to no, the house. No, she doesn't. Yeah, she does. She gets Chick-fil-A a lot. It's crazy because yeah. there's an age where you can do that with impunity. Mm -hmm. And and then it all of a sudden it all falls apart. It, it, uh, yeah. Right now it's just getting sucked into her breasts. Yeah, now it's just going to her tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, into, all her, into her sweater goblins. They're just getting angrier and angrier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With each Chick Fil A order. Am I gonna get canceled? Am I? I hear they're canceling Stern. Everyone's gonna get canceled. I know. Who cares? Every, someone, the thing is, someone is, told me you can't get canceled anymore too. Can't now make, it's like if you haven't been canceled, you're nobody. Right. You know what I mean? Like it, it's it's all gonna come it's back all, around. I think, I think my theory is that it's gonna like this generation. You know, the twenties, late twenties is like super pro woke coming yeah. out of college campus, et cetera. I yeah. think the next generation is gonna go against that. So bad. Yeah. And be like they're all gonna be like Rodney Dangerfield. Like the, it's all gonna yeah. be like seventies comics and they're gonna be saying outlandish yeah. shit. Because Kyle they, Rittenhouse is gonna be the president. No, not not the real not the ones that are really pieces of shit, but it'll be people who are smart, yeah. who are pretending to, who are doing it as a bit, but then it sticks. Yeah. And they're dropping R's and all these N's and F's and B's and G's yeah. and, and P's and Q's. Yeah. And like and, and it and it's funny because it's so taboo. It's like Louis C.K. is like that, you know. He but he's so cancelled right now. Is he still cancelled? I don't I mean, I don't even know. Yes, no, who knows? I mean Louis C. K. says to you, Gabby. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm Louis. I'm like. I'm gonna jerk off right now. I'm Louis C.K. You think I'm gonna say no? Of course I'm not gonna say you're no. You're gonna be like, okay. You also know that I'm a people pleaser, so I'm gonna go. Yeah. Please, yeah. Yeah, please. Just don't get it on my Def Leppard socks. And you can actually get it on my Def Leppard socks. <laughs> That's the one place you can get it. Yeah, on. yeah. If, if that'll make you feel better, anywhere yeah. that'll make you feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just get it on on your Converse. It's hot. Yeah. Nothing like shooting a hot load on some cons. On you know some what I'm saying, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <It's> really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you got it. Yeah, I got yeah, it. You got I, it. It's definitely my kink. It's like bring over your dirty converse. Yeah. And let's fucking and let me just let me just get let me just get all let me mess up those converse. Yeah. You quick. know that there's somebody's actual kink. Hundred million percent. Anything you can think of. Anything you can anything think of. Anything you can think of. So specific. Yeah. Like anything. guys that like there's okay. guys that can come from like a girl stepping on a balloon. Can you imagine how cool that would be? If all I had to yeah, do to bust a nut was like come over and step on this balloon, I'll just go. This yeah. is, am I, this is, this is, should we cancel this whole show? This is terrible. No, I'm, see, you question it too much. This is like, the thing, you I hear myself be, talking, yeah. and I just feel like such a, like, what am I talking about? I'm such a schmuck. What, what would you, I mean, if you want to fucking, you think you're Andrew Huberman, get him I on I am your, Andrew Huberman, yes. <laughs> you're dressed I, like him. That's the thing, only a few people can actually, I don't know, I do this all the time where I'm like, I should be talking about... I should be on this American. My podcast should be like this American Life with Ira Glass, and it's like that's never going to be it. Right. I'm not that guy. I'm never right. going to be. You could be if you wanted to. If you really stopped and started studying, and I, but the thing is, I'm not gonna. And, and, what the fuck yeah. is this? Fap chat. We on. Oh, we're on Pornhub. Why is he on? Why is he on Pornhub? Because I found it. Would you fuck Would you an older it? lady who lives near you? Bro, hey, Jason. Look at that. Look at. Can you play this? You can't play this on the episode. Or it's going to get Jason, banned. Do you know how inappropriate it is out, that you bro. you just. J we, I've played, he's uncircumcised too. I've played. I've Jason pl just put up a video of a dude jerking off onto, oh. a, onto a pair of Converse. But don't you think that's, don't you think that's, um. Look at him and he's putting on the headphones because he wants to hear now it Now I have all. to watch this guy. 
now I gotta watch it. Now, I, now I have to watch. Now I'm invested in this guy's. <laughs> yeah, because he's gonna come, and I gotta see him come. And on he's these also Converse. wearing Converse, jacking. Are this his own Converse? Also, while he's jacking off of these Converse, is he thinking about Converse? Like, what is he thinking? But don't you about? think it's inappropriate, Jason, to, sh to put up a, a video of someone jerking off? You've never done that in three years. You've never put up hardcore, disgusting pornography on this thing. I Are think you, I may have. You're not allowed to play this on your podcast, though. No, but I can blur it out. Are they seeing this on Discord? Uh, no, no. Well, for those of you who are on Discord right now, it's a guy jerking his fucking hog to a pair of Converse. What do you think of that dude's hog? It, it's nice. It's a nice dick. It's nice. It's all right, yeah. It's all right. That's, oh, look, that's, he's, he's coming. Oh, We're missing God. it. He's coming. Oh, God. I don't want to see this. Converse are expensive, man. No, no they're, what? They're not expensive. Eh, like he's 50 just, bucks. He's wearing Converse and he nutted on Converse. Can you get this out of here, Jason? <laughs> God damn it, dude. I don't want to see. I don't want to see that. I just don't. Look at the look at the girl. Get one. out of here, man! What the <laughs> fuck? Bro, Dude, there's a lot of these. Though is the is the point? Okay, of course. Free converse come porn. Every every fucking thing has a. Every, every anything you can literally how, think of. Look at those really long converse. That's kind of cool. This is, <laughs> those were those were definitely some that, shit I wanted. That's look some at the shit dick, and then look at the wait. Dick there's a dick in the too. Corner. God damn it! <laughs> Can you get? I don't. I don't feel comfortable with this, Jason. Seriously, okay, I don't right, want to see right. this anymore. This is terrible. Okay, so now you have to cancel. Jason. Now Jason's getting canceled. Jason's getting canceled for showing. I mean, it was shocking to look. Am I being like? Uh, am I? Am I being like what? I'm not prude, but I just like I don't want to. I don't want to be talking to someone and then I feel like even though you're like, I'm even, desensitized. Yeah, I know you're desensitized, but you're still a woman. I'm still a little bit like. Have some have some class around her. I'm like maybe I'm a little maybe I'm being too like I'm, maybe, am I being chauvinistic to feel like if I'm having a conversation with a woman and we both look up at a screen a guy jerking off I do feel a little uncomfortable. Is that wrong or am I like by saying that I'm being like I'm I'm I'm, disre I'm disrespecting your feminism? No, I think I no because see when you say that though you're taking it to the next level, which is like I get it. That's where you have to go to like try and be like. No, I'm not trying to be anything. I'm being honest. No, I, I know, feel. I know, but I feel like no, I I feel like it's normal to be like I don't. Maybe as like a maybe as like a friend of your boyfriend, I feel like, you know, like I it's my job is because I'm also like a 1974 uh, chauvinist that it's my job to be a uh, look at the, it's the, my job to protect you. Yeah, the, thank you. Of, what am I saying? I don't know. What I'm saying. No, you know Where's what? My phone? Um, well, you know what I like about this now is that now I've gotten my lips dissolved. Nobody's gonna leave fucking comments on your Discord, being like, "What's wrong with her lips?" And that's no, you think they're not gonna do that? That's also true. You're right. You're right. Um, they're still Jason, gonna find things to say. Can you do me a favor? Say. Yep. Can you take this? Can you take this and stick it up your ass, please? All right. And uh, no, can you do me a favor, please? And will you? What's um, in that? Uh, Why is it like that? I didn't. Sh I didn't. I didn't show you a video of someone jerking off on the converse. Well, you also just sexually harassed me at, at the workplace. I asked you to do me a favor and put this bottle in your asshole. Well, that's that's that is sexual harassment. Can you grab my phone, please, from my car. Fuck See, I don't have a job, so I have nothing to do. What? You don't have a job? You just I have nothing. Full time comedian. Full. Yeah, I have nothing to do. I got my dates for next month. I have one date, so I'm like, I have well, nothing to do you, all month. How about you take Omar to the hospital because I have I have to work. <laughs> <laughs> your face. If you need me to be of service. Yeah, I need you. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take Omar and put her in your hands, and you're gonna be like so traumatized by vets, dude. The vets of going in and out of vets. Oh, come you on. Had the cat thing. Huh? That was a nightmare. What happened with all that? She's fine now, but she got some shit stuck in her throat and was doing this. Stopped eating. Oh, you think there's something stuck in the throat? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You're but there was definitely in my. I'm not like a shaking. veterinarian. I gotta take her to the fucking thing. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate you, pal. Good looking out. There he goes. Look Sorry about the, uh, I, I'm I'm fine with it. Are you okay with it? I'm fine with it. Thank are you. Are you going to sue us? I'm not going to sue you. Okay. The thing is, are you guys going to sue each other? Because I, you, I, I thought it was again, really... I'm desensitized. Yeah, I thought it was important that there were so many. Yeah, I think you were just doing your research. Mm -hmm. You brought it up. So at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm just, uh, look, if I. You're just doing your job. If I don't look things up, I get in trouble. If I look things up, I get in trouble. Right. You can't win. It's just what Wait, it is. Jason, Jason, listen, you're not. <sighs> excuse me. Thank you. If I don't think, if See, I don't. See, that look... was disgusting. Well, that was gross. I said, excuse me. If I don't look <laughs> things up, I get in trouble. If I look things up, I get in trouble. Jason, I'm just telling you that I've never in the history of the show looked up on the screen and saw a dude jerking off. Yeah. That's all. It's crazy. We've played a lot of porn on my <laughs> it's podcast. Crazy. You have. Yeah. And it... But I feel like, I feel like as. Um, as a woman, you have more you have more kind of entree to do that. Whereas, like as a man, I'm I'm responsible for um for being in an environment where it's all true. of a sudden you're seeing a dude jerk off. Yeah, it's true. On the converse, and you do have to make 
the environment safe. Because I feel like when guys sit around and look up porn on podcasts, it's kind. It is kind of like, okay, fellas. But when girls do it, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah, women girls, do yes, this. Yes, of course. Yeah, women it's, do it. It's and, more like, yeah. There's and yeah, I don't it's know. dark when guys it's do darker. it. There's it's darker. something very Jason's, dark. Jason's a dark. He's a dark soul. I remember in middle school, uh, my friend and I, my old best friend and I, went to. She was dating this guy Andrew. Yeah. And we went to you know sneak up on him at his house, and we went up to his window at yeah. his house, and he oh, was in no. there with. He was jerking off. He was jerking off with our other friend. They're sitting in the room two together. Two guys no. watching porn together, jerking off. No. We were 14 years old. I mean, we weren't ready for that. How old were they? Fourteen. We're all fourteen. They were side by side jerking off. Side by side jerking off, watching porn. That's not necessary. So these women wouldn't do that. Women wouldn't sit around at fourteen years old watching porn, just fucking going to clit town. We're not gonna do that. Going to clit town. I've been there. <laughs> I feel like you haven't. <laughs> I've been. I've been to clit town. I don't know if you have. I think I, I, think, I think I was there. I don't know if you've been to clit. Actually, I've never been there. I couldn't find. I know. I, I got lost. I had a Google Maps. I couldn't. Yeah. Find it. yeah. I, I, Where is it? I what is clit town? I wouldn't know either. It's a small. It's a small. Uh, Depending on it's the a woman. Small village nestled in 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 the in the shadow of a mountain. Yeah. And uh, there's a little man in there. And yeah. You have to tap him on his head, and he gives you a golden penny. Sometimes. You know the little man thing is interesting. My boyfriend said the same thing. He said it's the like little a little man on the boat. He said a little man on the boat. Yeah, it's. That's a thing. It's stupid. Well, it's and like it's like what you guys know this. It's like half of a boat. There's a guy in there. I've it's never a heard bird's this. Bird's eye view. <laughs> I've never um, heard this before. Yeah, it's an old, it's an old colloquialism. Um, yeah, Clit Town, everybody, come on down to Clit Town. We got a dollar, dollars, uh, dollar, dollar off on uh, Clit, Clit Juice, and dollar off on Clit Juice. Oh Jesus Christ! You can tell I'm not operating with a full deck right now. Well, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Yeah, I get that. I'm a little sluggish. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, work today? I can't really say what's going on because. Yeah, we get it, we get it, we get you it. Know? Oh, yeah, I know. I can say I can cover the mic and be like, uh, I guess I guess I can't hmm. there's nothing going on except like everything. You know what I mean? I get that. Like and I, I can tell that. you I can tell you what's going on if we kill it, kill it, if we if we stop saying No, it. see and we can't do that. You can't talk you can't tell it off the fucking you gotta We just did it on your show the other day and it was great. It felt cathartic. Yeah. And then we had to cut all of it. No, we didn't. You oh, guys still had a solid hour. Yeah, like, no, no, but we had to cut the, you know, the cathartic part. Right, right, right. So you gotta, you gotta be mindful. You gotta be mindful. This yeah. is a mindfulness podcast. Yeah. And so now, um, everyone on Discord, listen, welcome. How are we doing, Dark Jason? Yeah. See, <laughs> did, wait, <clears throat> did the pot? Hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. Who did, in the Discord did liked they that? See, did they see the video? No. Jason, do you understand? Can I ask you a question? Do you understand? what what was wrong about that yeah that was the that was the point the whole fun is that it's not right to show a video of porn but do you understand that like not, studio. Probably, like gabby's the homie and like i love gabby like i know gabby from back in the punch bowl days when i would yeah. come to juice and she'd be like what's up fool and i'd be like what's up and then that's what that was our relationship was and then she was friends with my friend jude yeah who um sucked and fucked him dude you suck <laughs> Sucked and she, fucked. she sucked and fucked the shit out of Jude, blew his marbles, uh, and Oof. I didn't say that. You said that. I did say that. She slurped and burped and sucked and fucked. I absolutely. In retrospect, I definitely had BV when I was having sex with him. I sucked him like twice. BV. Bacterial vaginosis it means your pussy smells. What? Yeah. So in you, retrospect, oh I do God. regret. I regret that. I didn't know that that's what was going on. But you, but but how, you knew at the time that it was not everything wasn't so great. No, down there. No, he told you. No, I just kind of put the pieces together. I figured. How did you figure it out after the? Because I started dating somebody soon thereafter, and he made a comment about my pussy smelling so bad, and I said, "Well, that's not good. <sighs> well, that's not good." Because I was just Fuck. fucking somebody, so he must have. And oh my god. Yeah, I know. That see now we're being. This is very so. <laughs> yeah. How bad? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. But you only knew because of someone telling you. You didn't get a whiff of yourself. Yeah, I didn't know. You don't know. Sometimes this you that, get used should, to yourself. You think oh, this is. This should give you like right? those. Um, this should give you like those smelling strips they do for cologne, and you just get a swab your yourself. Yeah. And waft. Well, it. you think it's normal. You smell yourself, and you go, "It's probably normal." Yeah. I don't know. I don't but know. they should do. They should have like a breathalyzer for. Yeah. 
Bacterial vaginosis is a condition that happens when there is too much of a certain bacteria in the vagina. This changes the normal balance of bacteria in the vagina. And Jude never said nothing to you. You think Jude would say a damn thing? Jude's gnarly. No, he would say something. He'd be yeah. like, God, you're, you're right. Your, your pussy smells shawty. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, he didn't. He didn't say that. He didn't say shawty. He, he would say something like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do a Jude voice. But yeah. He would say something. He'd and be he didn't. very blunt. He didn't. So maybe, maybe, he didn't. Maybe. maybe he didn't. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it turned. Maybe your pussy. Maybe he turned, turned me sour. Yes. That could have been that, it too. Because you're fucking with, <clears throat> you're fucking with the biosphere down there. Yeah. And sometimes like you're fucking raw, which is the only way you fuck. No, he actually. I remember he used a condom, and I was very much like, Ugh. Where, 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 where were you? You having? That's you know. You, having, you, you only had sex with Jude twice. Yeah, twice. Um, and yeah. Uh, and it was bad. And and it, it, it's your theory that it was it wasn't it wasn't smelling great down there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that I've <laughs> come across that. Um, really? Yeah. I mean, not in the past 20 years. Wow, really? Have I come across a, a bad batch? Really? You know? I don't think so. No. The odds have been in your favor. Yeah. Okay, Hunger Games. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I did like that. <laughs> um, and not, not for lack of, uh, you know, investigation but uh yeah so it sounds like you're pretty much you, you haven't you probably have i don't get any pussy yeah you don't get any pussy okay that's fair it's fair to say you're right you're right i've had sex with three people in my entire life i on if you said that i would be like that makes sense you would it would that I, make it sense. would make sense if i said i fucked three people i would go okay yeah i could see that you could see that yeah i would i could see that honestly i could see that more than the latter i could see that more than you being like i fucked 500 girls i'd be like you haven't wait why would you Let's be honest. That's yeah, not, I'm being you're honest. not being honest. You're, you're 100% doing being a bit. honest. You, being, you see me as a guy a that's fucked three girls? If you said it, I wouldn't be surprised. I fucked three women in my life. Yeah, okay. You don't dispute that. I don't dispute why? it. Why? Well, tell me why. Look at what you're wearing, first of all. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm dressed like a male nurse from, the, from 2024, just from next year. Because that's why, yeah. I literally am like a male nurse just from yeah. next year, not even that you're far You're wearing the fucking Birkenstocks. I mean, it's just, come on, you know, I, like, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm, I'm giving you heavy, no pussy getting vibes right now. Big time. Big time. Like, Big time. Like, actually. The I'm, only reason I would think that you do is because you have tattoos, and they're nice. So that's the only reason I would think. That you think I get, I, I do or don't. That the only reason I would, if you didn't have any tattoos, like, I would be like, oh, you've definitely only slept with three people. But, yeah, but having tattoos doesn't mean you get laid. You know how many guys with tattoos don't get laid ever? There's something more. Uh, no, your, yours give more of a, I'm like, yeah, okay. Oh, so, oh, so the tattoo. So nothing else about me says this guy knows his way around a vagina. Just yeah. just the fact that I have tattoos. And a gold chain. So the tattoos and the gold chain. Take them away. You're a virgin. I'm just I'm I'm so sleazy looking. I gotta get it together. I'm gonna I'm gonna do. I need to do a makeover. I just want to. I do need to start. Do you regret? Do you regret getting tattooed? Yes. Do you really? Yes. I don't regret it actively. Like I'm not like oh I wish they could. But if I could snap my fingers and make them disappear, I would. Why? And I'll get like four because it's too much. Really? There's never. There's no end to it. And there's no end. I'm to also it. like I'm also old enough to where I'm like who cares? And also yeah. it, when I started getting tattoos, it was novel. It was like. When I started getting tattoos, it was like, listen, if you tattoo below your sleeve, you're fucked. Yeah. So I, I blasted my arms. I was yeah. like, fuck it. I'm never going to, it's never going to matter. And then shortly after, not shortly after, but a while after, people were like, you know, tattooing their face. Like 15, 20 years later, it was like face tats. I was like, oh my God. It's true. The only people that had face tattoos when I was younger were straight up murders. <clears throat> yeah. You'd see a guy with like a tattoo on his earlobe, it'd be like, you know, a stir or, or like yeah. whatever. And now there's me. Yeah. And now it's just like fucking just. Everyone's like fucking blasted, you know. Yeah, it's true. If I could do it over, if I could snap my fingers, if there was a pill or an easy laser, I'd be like, I would take it all off and maybe have like three tattoos. I wonder tattoos. if they're ever going to figure out a way to make tattoo removal easier. Well, you know right they, now it's pretty fucking horrific. It's, I hear it's terrible. That's why I don't do it. Yeah, I have to get a tattoo removed on my arm, but why? It's, it's very small. Uh, I don't want to tell you why, but uh, I have to get it off. Okay, okay. I don't see it. There, right there. Oh, okay, I see it. I get that. I gotta get that shaved off at some point. Um, yeah, just cross it out. No, I'm not. No, there's no. It's not. It's not like that. I'm not like angry. I just need to like. I'm not angry. I'm just gonna get take a fucking laser to my skin and get it burned off. Well, no, it's so small. It's easy to fucking remove. It's not a big deal. Just, put, just, a, like, just put a like cloud over it. A caterpillar. Maybe I get a yeah. caterpillar tattooed over it. So, you know I mean? Something. 
Just don't. It's it's the it's a kiss of death, you know. Uh, yeah, it is. That's why I won't do it. Don't ever do it. Yeah, I, I won't do it. I think it's yeah. Or maybe not. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just like, maybe it's just like a passage, a trajectory of life. Maybe I'll leave it, it could there. be. Maybe I just leave it there to remind myself of that period of my life that was a beautiful time. Yeah. You know, poetic. Right. I'm definitely a fucking poet laureate of this of this pod sphere. I could see that. This coffee is finally kicking in. Now we can start the motherfucking show. So listen, everyone. Uh, I, again, once again, please. Um, uh, like and subscribe but more importantly come over to the patreon it's five dollars a month and if you think about you spend five dollars on just one of those zit patches right i mean that's so much more so much more that patch is nine dollars so it's like if you just collectively yeah if you just get like bucks. don't maybe skip half of one coffee a month i bought a coffee this morning from maru thirteen dollars ten ten dollars so half of a maru coffee yeah uh, it gets you more entertainment than you could ever handle in your life. It's like having the Disney Channel yeah. bundle, but the Hulu Channel. Absolutely. All audio, so you can listen to it in the car, in the in the shower. You can drive around. Wait, and... wait, are you doing? So you're doing regular episodes and Patreon? Yeah, we split. See, the Patreon is where it gets spicy. This is where we really talk about. We really get into our sex life. Yeah. It's, uh, wait. So have, today, have we been recording only Patreon? No, we did both. He's oh. going to split it at 45 minutes, and then we go to the second half. That's in the smart. Patreon. Yeah, we're we're geniuses. That and is, the thing gen- is, that is and genius. you get to hear all like this is, Gabby. Let's drop some cuss words for the Patreon right now because we're now we're well, no Don't give say them that, a, give I'm them a get preview. Too say the f word. Which <laughs> <laughs> no the fuck? <laughs> Did she say that? Uh, what's yeah, the other f word? Uh, fun fun fucker. Fucker. Okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> Are you uh, saying that's a real? short bird? Are we beeping that? Are you really gonna? I don't care. Okay, good. Um, so you think I'm? I'm not fucking scared, dude. Uh, she's not scared of anything. I think I'm yeah, scared. Yeah. I'm scared. I've already. Uh, I'm already canceled. You're already canceled. So I haven't gotten canceled yet, but I know I already am. It's fine. I think I gotta go to fucking urgent care with Omar. Yeah, I gotta take her to the fucking. Do you think? Or is yeah. she just old and having the shakes? No, dude? no, this is not good. She's like, I don't know what's going on here. What are they gonna do? At urgent? They're just gonna ca- they're gonna charge you fucking nine hundred dollars for an IV. What? Who says they're gonna give her an IV? Anyways, come to the Patreon. You'll see if Omar lives. Uh, just it's five dollars. Can you get? Can you guilt them for not being able to spend five dollars? You say. I mean, yeah, I spend five fucking dollars. You know what I mean? Give me a break. It's oh, wait, there's a, a guy moving around the corner down there. What's going on? Uh, who's that person right there? Oh, he's oh. watching. He turned on his camera. So come nice. come to the Patreon and uh, come come see what, what's happening over there. I'll see you there, guys. Hell yeah.